Hi everyone, it's Lori from Crystal Earth Magic. I wanted to talk to you today about some of the very high frequency crystals that a lot of you are using these days. We're talking crystals such as Moldavite, okay, which is becoming very rare these days, Mystic Merlinite, Candle Quartz, which is quartz with a lenticular calcite coating, Merkaba calcite, which it's kind of in the shape of a Merkaba, even though this is a raw form. Mostly it's from Mexico. Tektites, which are from meteorites coming to Earth. So they have all the energy of the galactic travels in it. Astrophilite, which has a bunch of different minerals in it. Every piece is a little different. We also have stellar beam calcite, and as you can see, this is shaped kind of like a little spaceship. And another one, stellar beam calcite. It looks like golden calcite until you see the shape of that kind of uh, spaceship going on. So anyway, there's a whole lot of other ones. Um, Azazchilite is another one. I forgot to bring it up here to... Uh, to show you, but Azazchilite um, looks a lot like uh, cloudy quartz, but it's supercharged quartz. Again, these are some of the very high frequency stones that are very popular um, for people trying to expand their consciousness um, and connect, with, especially with our star families, um, extraterrestrials, ascended masters, um, the angelic realm. Um, they definitely are what we call storm element stones. Storm element stones are very high frequency. They contain all of the elements um, in perfect balance within them. Some of them have a, a, a real big kick to them. The ones that I am presenting today have quite a kick to them because clear quartz is also a storm element stone um, and it doesn't have quite the kick that these guys do. So what happens with this is this connects us to very high frequency energy. Not It's beyond our, our soul star. This even opens up your stellar gateway, which connects you to all the wisdom of the universe. So the issue with these is they're wonderful meditation aids, especially if you are doing that work with your star families, with the higher realms, with the galactic federation, etc. They, they help you to channel. They help you to bring in all this wisdom. Um, but... What I want to share with you today is a little tip as to getting more out of working with them. All of these stones, again, wonderful, but sometimes it's really, really high frequency, really buzzy, and our bodies are not really absorbing um, all of this information that's coming in because we're way up here in the etheric realms. We're not bringing it down into the physical body. Um, and so what I find a great way to work with these so that it's actually beneficial on the earth plane is to use a grounding stone with it. So something like a black tourmaline, um, something like an obsidian, a snowflake obsidian, something like a garnet, okay? Um, whatever your favorite grounding stone is, use that. Smoky quartz is a great one. A lot of the agates and jaspers are great grounding stones. Whatever your favorite one is, I prefer when I'm working with these really, really high frequency stones such as Moldavite and what we talked about to use black tourmaline because again, it's protective and it's also super grounding. So all the information you get while you're out there on the astral plane and uh, doing your high meditative work um, can actually be used on the earth plane. You actually remember it. You can actually bring it back and apply it to your life here on the earth. You know, most of you interested in crystals in this life are star seeds old souls. You've come from the stars. You have all of that memory of your many, many journeys through the universe eternally um, in your DNA. And we're, try we're at the point humanity is trying to remember and trying to bring forth this wisdom, trying to really, really plug in and connect to um, the galactic realm so that we can bring all that wisdom back to help shift Earth into this new Earth, into this new paradigm um, that's dawning right now as, as we speak. We're all here to bring it. We all came here with that goal um, on different levels. We're all bringing through different talents, different assets, different abilities. Um, however, we have more. And when we work in the higher planes um, with these stones as assistants, we can tap into more of that galactic wisdom from our higher self as well, of course. Um, our higher self is always the guide on these journeys. And so that's another little tip. If you're taking these journeys, um, working with uh, extraterrestrials, working with um, very, very high frequency beings, make sure your higher self 
um, is invited on the journey. Of course, your higher self is always there, but it's always great to invoke that. Um, it's always great to uh, call upon your higher self for guidance. Um, and it's always great to have a little black tourmaline and maybe some sacred geometry around, such as a stargate, which is putting the shape of two pyramids base to base around you in an octahedron, or the Merkaba, which is the star tetrahedron, two tetrahedrons interpenetrated into the Merkaba or star tetrahedron. If you put those around you, you are always protected. Um, I always am hounding on saying a sovereignty, sovereignty mantra as well, that I am a sovereign being, only love and light may enter my body and energy field. I do not consent to any lower energies. Um, it's great to get in the habit of doing something like that, you know, make it your own and um, have that sovereign, sovereignty mantra because um, dark forces cannot um, come at you without your consent. Um, if you're unaware of it, that's kind of like consent because uh, <laughs> it's uh, everywhere that uh, it's that information's available everywhere. And we really um, have been bombarded with it, especially lately, anyone who's looking. Um, and so always say your sovereignty mantra, especially when you're doing that high plane work um, and working with the galactics. So again, bringing in a grounding stone, making sure you are anchored into the earth before you begin working with your Moldavite or your Azazulite or your stellar beam calcites. Very important. Um, try it. I know a lot of you don't do that, but try it. You know, a lot of you say, oh, you don't want to harsh your buzz or whatever, right? No, it's unusable information. A lot of it, you're losing a lot of it. I, I can guarantee you. Some of you, maybe not, but most of you are losing a lot of that information. If you're not grounded, um, you're going to forget it. Um, or it's not going to be meaningful to you that you can use in your life on the earth plane. Okay. So try that when you are working with these high frequency stones, bring in your grounding stone, especially black tourmaline, surround yourself in a protective energy field, such as a Merkaba or a Stargate or an octahedron and see how that changes things for you. See how it works. So Again, a little bit about the stones. Moldavite, like I said, has become very, very rare. These are only found in the Czech Plateau. These were um, the event of an asteroid or meteorite crash gazillions of years ago, right? Um, they have the energy of that um, trip through the universe. Um, these are particularly high-frequency tectites. Um, again, these are the more common tectites that are, that are often found in desert regions, um, especially in China. Um, and Indonesia, those kinds of places, of course, that we can find them here. We can find them in Morocco. There's different kinds. Um, but uh, again, very, very high frequency energy. You have to be able to use it in your physical form. Um, when we work with tectites, especially, um, it's very easy um, once you're aware of how to do it, once you're uh, confident of how to do it, to connect with your star families. Your star families are those beings in the higher realms of a benevolent star family realm. So a lot of us are working with the Pleiadians. A lot of us are working with the Arcturians. A lot of us are working with the benevolent Syrians. Um, a lot of us are working with all sorts of different um, star families. Um, all of them come from the Lyra uh, star system many mil hundreds of millions of years ago, and they have all um, moved and, and migrated throughout the universe after that star system was uh, disrupted by the same beings that we are fighting today. Um, and so all of those beings, our star families, are here to help us. They are here and part of what we call the Galactic Federation of Worlds. And they are here helping us on the front lines to clear the earth of these negative beings that have been in control for thousands upon thousands of years here. Um, and that are also have uh, a, a toehold in the rest of the uh, solar system, not to mention the galaxy. Okay, so the Galactic Federation of Worlds is helping us. When we connect with them, um, we are more aware of the mission that they're carrying out on our behalf. Now, we have many positive Earth forces in the Earth Alliance uh, working with the Galactic Federation, being trained by the Galactic Federation over many, many decades. It's not, this is not a new um, thing. When we talk of the new Space Force, 
um, branch of our military. They're working with the Galactic Federation. They're part of the Earth Alliance. Um, and so when we connect with them, um, with the assistance of the Crystal Kingdom, because definitely um, these help us connect to these higher frequencies. They raise our frequency so much. Um, then we are more aware of what is actually going on. Um, there is so much disinformation out there, so many people channeling beings that, you know, again, you have to go into your hearts and really really um, see if things resonate with you because there's a lot of disinformation even within the spiritual realms some are well-meaning individuals some are not okay but I know a lot of you were wanting to do this this very high frequency stone work um, and work with uh, your star families and again so those are just some tips to keep yourself safe and to make sure that your journey is actually fruitful um, as you're doing that so um, just give it a try. Let me know how it goes. See if it enhances um, everything that you're doing. And uh, I'm just very grateful that all of you beautiful star seeds and old souls are here waking up, doing this work, and together we're shifting everything on this planet. So again, this is Lori from Crystal Earth Magic. If you resonate with this message, please like and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share this video also if it resonates. Um, and I will be back with more videos. Thank you and have a magical day.